In this video, we are going to learn how to add or update contacts in Brevo for webbook response. Now, we want that whenever we receive a new webbook response through webbook by Pabli, a new contact should be created in our Brevo account by using the same details. And in order to automate this full process, we are going to use Pabli Connect here. Now, what we are going to do, we have webbook by Pabli in our trigger and we have Brevo in our action. So, we will be connecting both of them in such a way that whenever a new response will be captured in webbook, automatically a new contact will be created by using the same response in our Brevo. And in order to learn this full process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn that whenever somebody will fill this form and the response of this particular form will get captured through Webbook by Pabli in Pabli Connect, automatically a new contact should be created in our Brevo account like this. Okay, so let's start learning. First of all, we have to come on a new tab and then on the address bar, we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, we are on the home page of this particular software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes. As I'm already an existing user, so I am just clicking on sign in. And when you create your free new account, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this entire software. Now here we are on the page where we can find all the products offered by Pabli. So in order to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect here. So just click on access now. And as we do that, we are on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we can find all our workflows which we have created. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on create workflow option given on right corner. So let's click it and now a dialog box has appeared in front of us which is asking to provide this workflow a suitable name. So according to a workflow, let me give it a name as add or update contacts in Brevo for webbook response. And now let us click on create. And as we do that, we can find two windows are open in front of us. First is trigger and the next is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic principles on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. And here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's understand this with an example. So suppose the trigger here is webbook and it says that whenever a new response is captured over here through Webbook by Pabli, automatically a new contact should be created in our Brevo account, which will be our action. So let's start with our trigger first. First, we have to select a trigger application, which, which will be Webbook by Pabli. So here we can find Webbook. So just click on it. And now I am going to use jot form over here in order to capture the response through Webbook by Pabli. So you can use any other application which is integrating by using Webbook URL such as Google Form, Google Sheet, etc. Here just to capture the response in Pabli Connect, I am using jot form. Okay. So what we have to do, we have got one Webbook URL we can see over here. So we have to simply copy it down from here. And after that, we have to go on our form which we have created. So let's go on jot form and here you can find that I have created this particular form named as contact form for this workflow which contains first name, last name, email and phone number just to capture the response in Pabli Connect. Now here what we have to do, we have to come on settings section given over here and after that we have to come on integrations given on left side. As we come here, we have to search in the search bar for webbooks. And as we can see webbooks, click on it. And now here we have to simply paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Now click on complete integrations and it is showing integration is ready. You have successfully created your integration. That means that means our form is now connected with Pabli Connect. Now let's move to Pabli Connect and we can see that it is showing waiting for response. That means now we have to do a test submission by filling up the form which we have created in order to capture the webbook response over here. So let's start doing it. So as you know, this is the form which I have created. Now we have to click on publish in order to publish this form. So we will simply click on copy link and after that we will come on a new tab and here we will paste the link. And we can see that the form is open in front of us. Now we have to enter the details one by one to fill this form. So let's start with the first name. So I am just entering dummy details over here in order to capture the response. Okay. So I am giving the first name as dummy, last name as lead, email as and at last the phone number. And these are the details which I have entered. Now we have to simply click on submit. And as we do that, we can find that 
a word response is successfully submitted over here. So let's go and check on Pabli Connect. And here we can find that we have received the response through Webhook by Pabli with the same details which we have entered there in the chart form. So now let's move on to the next step, which will be creating a new contact in our Brevo account by using the response we have received through Webhook. So let's start selecting our action application, which will be Brevo. Click on it. And now we have to select our action event, which will be create or update contact. And now we have to simply click on connect. And here it is asking us two options, add new connection or select existing connection. So let's click on add new connection. And now we have to enter two details over here in order to connect our Brevo account. So first is domain and the next is API key. So what will be our domain for that? We have to go on our Brevo account. And from the top, we can see that I am currently working in Brevo.com. That means my domain here is Brevo.com only. So I am just ignoring this field because it is already entered. Now the next is API key. So from where we are going to find our API key for that again, we have to go on our Brevo account and we have to find the API key under SMTP and API page. So let's go on Brevo and here from the right corner, we can find the profile option. And under that, we have to come on SMTP and API. After that, we have to come on API keys. And here we can find that I have already created several API keys in order to perform workflows. But to create this particular workflow, let us generate a new API key by clicking on it. And now we have to give a random name to our API key. So let me give the name as contact and just click on generate. And we can see that our API key is successfully generated over here. So just copy it from here and click on OK. And from here, we have to simply enter our API key and now click on save. And as we do that, we can find that our Brevo account is also successfully integrated with Pabli Connect. Now we have to enter the fields given over here one by one in order to create a new contact in our Brevo account. So first is email. We are not going to manually enter the data, but we are going to map this data one by one by using our previous step. So why we are doing this? Because we want that whenever a new response is also captured in future in this workflow, automatically the contact in Brevo should also be created by using that dynamic data and the workflow should not get stuck due to dynamic details. So let's start mapping the details one by one. First is email. So we have to click on our previous step. And from here, we have to search for our email. So this is the email. Just click on it and it will be mapped. Now the next is email blacklisted. So set through this field to blacklist the contacts for email. So I do not want to blacklist the contacts for my email. So I am just clicking on false. And the next we have to select our list in which we want to create the contact. So I want to create the contact in new list. And now we have to simply come on last name. So let's map the last name also from the previous step. So we have to select our last name by scrolling down and this is the last name select it and, and next is first name. So select this also and at last we just have to click on save and send test request and we can see that we have received one ID. So that means our contact in Brevo is successfully created. Now let's go on Brevo and check whether we have received the response in the form of a new contact there or not. So this is the Brevo account. Now from the left side, we have to come on contacts and here we can find all our contacts. So here we can also find the new contact, which is recently created through Webhook response. We can see the email, first name and the last name, which we have entered in our jot form. So that means our workflow is successful. Now let's summarize what we have done in this workflow. So basically we have taken webhook in our trigger and we have taken Brevo in our action. So whenever a new webhook response will be captured here by using any application such as JotForm, Google Form or any other application, automatically by using that webhook response, our new contact will be created in our Brevo account. And therefore we have integrated both these applications by using Pabli Connect. Now these were the steps which we have to follow in order to build a connection between our webhook and Brevo. So this was it in this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the redpabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.